So this is gonna be a comprehensive course on how to create a 3D product for sale on Shapeways. Now Shapeways is a 3D printing store where customers can come in and buy your 3D models and Shapeways will print it out, package it, and ship it directly to your customer and you will get a cut. So it's a great way for you to start a side business um, in e-commerce and all you have to do is just create the models, uh, create the products and uh, upload it. So I'm gonna show you how to do this exactly from scratch and it's gonna be divided into two parts. The first part is gonna show you uh, how to actually get the model onto Shapeways, setting up a product page, doing all the checks, uh, selecting materials. And uh, the second part, which is gonna be a much longer part, is gonna show you exactly uh, the modeling process to create this uh, particular chair from scratch inside Maya. Now that's gonna be um, geared towards beginners, so it's gonna go over everything in detail. And if you, even if you don't have a Maya and you're using Blender, for example, it's gonna be the same, the concepts are the same. So you can find the uh, equivalent of uh, all, the, all the tools I'm using in Maya, there's definitely an equivalent inside Blender. So uh, have no fear, you can just follow along. All right, so let's get started. After you set up your Shapeways uh, account, which I won't go into detail because it's pretty self-explanatory, but after you do that, uh, what, what do you do next? How do you get your model onto uh, Shapeways? So the first thing you would do is if you just mouse up here and you go to My 3D Models and you go to Upload, it should take you right to the Upload page. And uh, we go to the this is the thing that we just exported out, right? And we just upload it by clicking and dragging to here. And it automatically analyzes it and then it should pop up here in a few moments. So let's wait. Okay, looks like it's doing something. There we go. The, the model looks perfect in its upload. Look, there's no problems. If there's problems, you'll see these little jagged black triangles, which usually happens with OBJ. But, you know, this is uh, perfect. This looks like a perfect representation of our model. No problems at all. And uh, notice it's in millimeters. Um... So if we just, for a centimeter conversion, we just simply divide it by 10. So 3.6, 36 millimeters or 3.6 centimeters, which is correct. You know, back in Maya, that's what, when we measured it, 3.6, uh, 3.58, 3.6, that's pretty close, yeah. So we know that uh, it uploaded the correct size and when we print this out, it will be about, you know, a little less than an inch and a half. So um, the next thing is you have to select your material. There's a 3D materials guide, which I won't go into, into detail because you can check that out for yourself. But, you know, it talks about all the different uh, materials that's available and it all costs differently. The co the, obviously, gold is going to be a lot more than, you know, uh, versatile plastic. You know, it, it gives you the prices right here. And it's all based on your model, how much, how big it is and how much material it's going to use. It automatically adjusts. Uh, the prices for you. You uh, you can't, as far as I know, you can't set the prices, you know, in shape ways. It sets it for you. So, um, but the nice thing is that they handle everything. They have, they handle the manufacturing. They handle the shipping to the person that makes the order. And um, you can see that, you know, for example, if I select versatile plastic, 
there's options, you know, different colors. And um, let me bring your attention to the tools. Open in 3D tools. This is very important because this shows you based on the material that you choose. Um, because some materials will not have as many limitations as other materials. You know, smooth, fine, detailed plastic, you're not going to have some issues uh, that you might encounter if you choose a cheaper material. So mesh integrity and repair, you know, it looks for all these things, you know, because our model is pretty much very clean, very, very, uh, very well made, that it automatically gives us little green checks, bounding box, bounding box. I mean, you can all, you can read this for yourself. This is basically, I guess, uh, if you have some really strange dimensions in your thing, um, whether or not their machines are going to be able to print it out or not. So wall thickness, loose shells, these are all things that take a little bit of time for your, them. Okay, so, okay, so wall thickness right here, you can already see, you know, the minimum support of wall is 0 0.7 millimeters. And this is not exact in my, in my experience, you know, I've had two models printed out already and uh, it felt kind of flimsy, like, uh, even though these were well, like, a little bit of issues right there. But uh, I was well within my parameters, but the, 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 the table legs that I printed out for this model still felt a little flimsy. Like, if I put a little weight on it, it just it would snap. But that's also because I chose the cheapest material. Um, there are materials that cost a lot more that are much more sturdy and would probably also give me a much cleaner print. Um, just showing you the pictures from my print. This is that chair that uh, we just made. There's actually some issues with, notice these unsightly bands. And again, this is the cheapest uh, material that I used to print out, it cost about $5 US. So this was definitely, these bands are not there in the original model. This is because of the limitations of their print, of their printing process. And there's also this kind of coarse uh, texture to, you know, the print. So if that really bothers you, you have to sand it down or use a, a smooth, fine detail plastic material um, or, if it's not you, then it's your customer. So these are all issues to be aware of when you are thinking about selling your product and marketing your product. Um, my my feeling is that a lot of people who are customers of Shapeways, they are aware of these issues and they would, um, they know what to expect. And as you get more accustomed to the platform, you'll also realize that you know there are limitations to the cheaper materials and you might not even make that an option you know you you, you just make the uh, you would find the optimal material for your 3d 3d print that will make sure that will ensure that the customer is satisfied with uh, your product and then you would go with that and uh, you can um select the kind of materials that you want uh, available for uh, your your product. So um, I'm not going to wait for this to finish because sometimes it takes a while. I'm pretty confident that this is okay though. So the next step is if you want to create a product, you just go into tools, create a product. And this is where you give the name and description, um, category. It's all really self-explanatory. Uh, like this is like miniatures, interior models, um, tags, choose scale. This is 124 scale, style, modern, 
furniture, scene, living room. And you can add variants. Size, choice, small. Now this is something that took me a little bit of time to figure out. Like if you have a different variant, you have to, for example, if you have a 112 scale of your chair, you have to upload that model um, here as well. And then you could select, you can, you can make that an extra selection you know, here. Um, but I, I thought that Shapeways would automatically scale it down for you, scale up for you, but no, you have to upload a new, uh, a new version of that model. And you add the materials here, like I was saying, you know, orange processed versatile plastic uh, or smooth fine detail plastic. And what's nice is that uh, Shapeways automatically renders these uh, these materials for you. But you should also, I, I'd really recommend that you actually choose uh, your own custom image because it just makes it, the presentation look much nicer. I'd like to show you these are the custom images that I made for my products. Um, I used V-Ray as the renderer and I put a standard paper clip here as the uh, for scale but and also put like stuff like this 124 scale um, this was one of my other products that I had fun making a little cutlery mini cutlery set printed out like this uh, there were a little some there were some problems with the holes that they didn't go all the way through and that's something you have to be aware of but Shapeways customer service is very good I told them about the issue and then they issued me a full refund and uh, I'm gonna go back and just you know redesign this so it's not an issue for anybody else who purchases uh, this model and um, I would say also that sometimes renders are not even enough to get a customer interested you you need to I, I really recommend that you print out you know products that you really believe in for yourself just so you can take better pictures and you can also, you know, uh, test uh, to see if the print was successful with the selected material. Um, there's tons of, you know, the, the Shapeways marketplace is actually pretty saturated with a lot of stuff. And most of them have not even been bought once. And all that you see on the website is like, a Shapeways render image and people when they see that when customers see that they just don't really feel like buying it because it hasn't been properly tested it, it, people feel like if I buy this is it going to be good is it, is it not it's it's not it's not social proofed yet you know what I mean it's it's a uh, it's still just like in prototype stage and I think you know with any kind of e-commerce business what you want to do is you want to build your brand and you want to tap into a niche market or tap into whatever's trending and create these really uh, I've seen these nice toys that these desktop toys that have done really well because you know they they look cool they're cute they're something that people would want to buy for themselves and put on their own desktop and uh, you could re start reinforcing your brand in that in that way um, and that's really, you know, the, it's, the, it's the same principles of any e-commerce any, any e business. You know, you create your brand, you create your style, and then you start to attract customers. You, you, make, uh, ad, you pay for advertisements on Facebook or, or what have you. And uh, the rest is really up to you. So I hope this gives you, um, all right, and, and you save changes uh, after you fill out all this this stuff it's actually really easy to use uh, it the hard part is all the hard work that goes behind building and creating your store and all your products